going on guys let's look at this problem right here this question is asking a conducting bar slides without friction on two parallel horizontal rails that are 64 cm apart and connected by a wire at one end the resistance of the bar and the rails is constant and equal to 0.08 ohm a uniform magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane of the rails a 0.08 newton force parallel to the rails is required to keep the bar moving at a constant speed of 0.4 meter per second what is the magnitude of the magnetic field so here they are asking for the magnetic field b okay and we have to know the sliding conducting bar experience a magnetic lorentz force that is given by f is equal to b i l sin theta and here in the question they have mentioned that uh, this is perpendicular right a uniform magnetic field perpendicular to, perpendicular to the plane of the rails so this theta is 90 degree so that's going to be equal to 1 so the equation we are going to have is f is equal to b i l now let's look at the given information here we are trying to find this b now we have the force that's available do we have the current if you look look at this one we don't have the current provided right so we have to rearrange this equation in in terms of whatever we have the, the whatever the values we have and we know that v is equal to ir and v is equal to emf like emf is the voltage so emf is equal to ir and i is equal to emf over r and let's plug this one instead of this instead of i we are going to plug emf over r so this is going to become f is equal to b times emf divided by r times l okay now do we have the emf we don't have the emf either so we have to plug something else for the emf and emf is equal to bl so for a emf generated in the moving wire is equal to blv okay b is the magnetic field l is this uh, this length right here this 64 centimeter okay this is uh, they are saying two parallel horizontal rails that are 64 centimeter apart so this apart length is l and here also this apart length is l now let's re replace this emf with this one so this is going to become b times blv over r and also this v is v represents the velocity okay l and if we simplify this one that's going to give us b square l square v over r since we are trying to find the b let's rearrange this equation if we rearrange this is going to become this is this whole thing is equal to f okay so b square is going to be equal to f times r divided by l square v therefore v uh, therefore b is going to be equal to square root of f times r divided by l square v now we can go ahead and plug our values v is going to be equal to square root of f is the force that is 0 0.08 newton times the resistance that's r that is 0 0.08 and the apart distance that is 64 centimeter and 64 centimeter is equal to 64 times 10 to the power minus 2 meter and then we have to square this one after that we have the velocity that is 0 0.4 meter per second and if you calculate this one you will end up with 0 0.1976 and this is approximately 0 0.20 tesla and that's going to be the final answer therefore b is equal to 0 0.20 tesla and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching